Spread Zoom online mindset meeting today. I have so much gratitude towards all of you showing up today and playing full out. I'm super excited to be serving you today. Let's get started. 13 things mentally strong people release from their life. Especially at this time through COVID-19. Number one, waste time feeling sorry for themselves. Many of life's problems and sorrows are inventable, but feeling sorry for yourself is a choice. Whether you're struggling to pay your bills, especially now, or you're dealing with unexplained health, yes, health problems, indulging in self-pity won't fix the problem. If you're prone to feeling sorry for yourself, when the going gets rough, train your brain to exchange self-pity for gratitude. Gratitude is so powerful. Mentally strong people don't waste their time and energy thinking about the problem. Instead, they focus on creating a solution. Number two, give away their power. It can be very tempting to blame other people for our problems and circumstances. Thinking things like, my mother-in-law makes me feel bad about myself gives others the power over us. Take back your power by accepting full responsibility for how you think, feel, and behave in life. Empowering yourself is an essential component to building a mentally strong, mentally strength, and creating the kind of life that you want to live, especially right now through COVID-19. Number three, Shy away from change. Although we feel safest when we we stay within our comfort zone, avoiding new challenges serves as the biggest obstacle to living a full and rich life. Learning to recognize when you avoid change because of the discomfort involved in doing something new could be the first step in a long journey towards empowering your life right now. The more you practice tolerating the the uncomfortable feeling associated with, with change, whether it involves taking on a new job, leaving a un, unhealthy relationship, the more confident you, you'll become in your ability to creating your future. Number four, waste energy on things they can't control. So often we worry about all the wrong things. Rather than focusing, preparing for the storm, we waste energy wishing the storm wouldn't come. If we invest the same energy into things that we do have control over, we'd be much more prepared for whatever life throws our way. Pay attention to the, to the times when you're, you're tempted to worry about something you can't control. Like the, like the choices other people make or how you, your competitors behave in business or other employees and devote that energy into something more productive, especially right now in your own life. Number five, worry about pleasing others. A lot of people say, I don't care what other people think, but often that's a defense mechanism meant to shield them from the hurt and pain associated with rejection. People pleasers come in all forms. Sometimes you can spot them a mile away, and at other times, their fear of angering others is deeply rooted. Doing and saying things may not be met with favor takes courage. But living a truly authentic life requires you to live according to your values, even when your choices aren't popular. Number six, 
fear of taking calculated risk. Now, calculated risk right now is, wow. We make dozens, if not hundreds, of choices every day with very little consideration of the risk that we're taking. Whether we choose to wear a helmet on a bike ride or we decide to take out a loan, we often base our choices on our emotions, not the true level of risk. Making decisions based on your level of fear isn't a calculated way to calculate risk. So accurate, sorry, <laughs> accurate way to calculate risk. Emotions are often irrational and unreliable. You don't get extraordinary. Let me start that again. You don't get to be extraordinary without taking risk and learning how to accurately calculate risk will ensure you to making the best choices in your life. Number seven, dwell on the past. Oh, this could be a long, I could run a whole two hour, whole two hour event just on dwelling on the past. And that's one thing I did, dwelled on the past on a continuous basis. While reflecting on the past and learning from it is a helpful part of building a mentally, mentally strength, mental strength. Ruminating can be harmful to our mindset. Making peace with the past so you can live for the present and plan for the future can be hard, yeah, especially, if, especially now if you're endured as a lot of misfortune. Right now is the time, but it's necessary steps to becoming your best self right now. Number eight, make the same mistakes over and over. I'd be, I'd be nice to learn. I'm sorry, it would be nice to learn enough from each mistake that we'd We'd guarantee to be never repeat that same mistake twice. But the reality is we're prone to repeat the same mistakes sometimes. That's life. But learning from those mistakes, learning from those mistakes requires humility and willingness for new strategies to become better. Mentally strong people don't hide their mistakes or make excuses for them. Instead, they turn their mistakes into opportunities for self-growth. Number nine, resent others, other people for, for their success, for success. Watching your coworker receive a promotion or hearing a friend talk about her achievement or his achievement can stir up feelings of envy But resenting others, other, other people's success will only interfere with your ability to reach your goals in life. When you're secure in your own definition of success, you'll stop envying other people for obtaining their goals and you'll be committed to reaching your dreams in life. Number 10. Give up after failure. Give up after failure. I was one of those people. Give up after failure. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, poor me. It's normal to feel embarrassed, discouraged, and downright defeated when your first attempt didn't, didn't work. From a young age, we're often taught that failure is bad. But it's nearly impossible to succeed if you never fail. I'm going to read that again because that's a very important statement. But it's nearly impossible to succeed if you never fail. 
mentally strong people view failure as proof that they're pushing themselves to the limits in their efforts to reach reach their full potential in life. Yeah, so true. Number 11, fear alone time. Fear of being alone. In today's fast-paced world, obtaining a little quiet time often takes concerted effort. Many people avoid silence and solitude because of the lack of Activity feeling uncomfortable. But time but time to yourself is essential. Component to building mentally mental strength. Mentally strong people create opportunities to be alone with their thoughts, reflecting on their progress and creating goals for the future. Number twelve. Feel the world owes them anything. Feel the world owes them anything. It's easy to get caught up in feeling the sense of entitlement, but waiting for the world or people in it to give you what you think were owed isn't a helpful life strategy. I'm going to pause for this. If we feel right now that the government owes us or our rent shouldn't be paid, that means we're, we think we're owed something. If you're busy trying to take what you think you deserve, you won't have any time to focus on all that, that you have to give. And everyone has a gift that can be shared regardless of whatever They've gotten a fair deal in life. Number 13. Lucky number 13. My favorite number. Expect immediate results. Wouldn't it be nice if everything in life could happen at the touch of a button? Especially in this technology world. We often grow so accustomed to our no lines, no waiting, the world that our brain begins to, to believe that everything should happen instantaneously. But self-growth develop, develops at more of a snail's pace rather than, a, than lightning speed. I know that for truth. I thought I had to you know, fix all my problems right away. Otherwise, I, my self-worth as a person, oh, I don't understand, I don't understand. And when I slowed down and said, you know what, this is a, it's not a race to finish line. Whether you're trying to lose weight or develop more grace, gracious attitudes, slow and steady wins the race. And expecting immediate results will only lead to disappointment. I know myself. All I was trying to do was trying to race to get finished. And every time I got disappointed. Mentally strong people know that true change takes time and they're willing to work hard to see results. Final note. The good news is everyone has the ability to build mental strength. But due, but due to, I'm not sure if I read that right, but to do so, you need to develop self-awareness about the self-destructive thoughts, behaviors, and feelings that prevent you from reaching your full potential in life. Once you recognize areas that need work, committing to mental strength exercises will help you create healthier habits and building mental muscles in life.
doing something you haven't done before. Now is a perfect time to do something great. What can you accomplish in the next few weeks or months that would have a significant positive impact on your life? What big goal could you achieve? What new skill or, or learning could you acquire? What projects could you take on? I challenge you to set big goals for yourself and devote this time to your own self-improvement. And here's some examples, and we're gonna go afterwards and we're gonna figure out some of the things that you want to do. Take an online course. Improve your skill set. Finish some home projects. Declutter your home. Go and create a vegetable garden, even if it's a small little box, like a four by four box or a six by six box, whatever it may be for you. Overhaul your website if you have a website or business. Take an existing business online. So right now everything is shut down. So take your business online and work out some strategies. Find a mentor that really can help you guide you to that online business. Learn how to offer online classes right now. Learn a new language if you choose to. Write a book. Create a, you know, create a new, a new digital product. Pursue a new career because you can do online schooling right now. <laughs> Learn a musical instrument or go back in your garage and find that old guitar or something that you, and, and learn how to play it. Start a volunteer group to help others in your community. And you can do that online. And this is super important, everyone. Super important. So 5% conscious mind. So this is the 5%. 95% is our subconscious mind. This is our computer hard drive that's running our system daily on every single moment, every time we go to sleep, every time we're awake. Now look at this. The subconscious mind is 30 thousand times more powerful than our conscious mind. So it means our 95% is 30,000 times more powerful than our 5% conscious mind. That's running our life every single day, every single moment. And the 95% we don't see. We don't see the 95%. The 5% is our sight, smell, and all those five senses that are in, that we can, that's running just that normal conscious way of thinking. The 95 is all the stuff that we don't see. It means walking, eating, all that stuff that we don't see. That's just normal. And we're going to work through that. It runs our life, 95%. That's the math. You can see it, 5%, 95%. The math does not lie. So thank you so much. Huge gratitude right now and in, in this massive time through COVID-19. So thank you so much. Now we're going to take some, some Q&As and then we're going to work on some of those mindsets. If you have any questions and thoughts, feelings about what we just went over. So huge gratitude. Thank you so much.